Hi, and welcome to a new video of this MOOC. In this video, we are going to learn how to connect our Angular application to a backend service. And this is very important because there are a lot of situations in which uh, our application would need to uh, extract data from an external service. For instance, for consuming third-party uh, information, for managing persistence in our application, because remember we are also talking here about applications that runs in the client. So if we want to store or to get information from a database, we will need to connect to a backend service that manages this persistence. And also for sharing information with other clients or other applications. In client-based applications, this connection with the backend service is usually done using uh, the HTTP, HTTP protocol and browsers uh, implement the XML uh, HTTP request interface to perform this kind of uh, HTTP request. Angular uh, offers to us the HTTP client that is a wrapper of this uh, interface that offers to us a simplified API as we will see in the next slides. In order to use this HTTP client, we have to import the HTTP client module as we uh, usually do in Angular. So this is usually done in the application module file, as you can see in this slide, importing the module and then including uh, it in the list of imports of the module. Then, in order to um, start using this HTTP client, it's very, very useful uh, and very recommendable to uh, use the methods this HTTP client offers inside a separate service. This way, we will uh, separate um, the presentation of the data from the logic needed to get the data or to post the data to the external service. So, uh, if you create, for instance, this my HTTP service um, in your application, you can directly inject the HTTP client inside it in order to start using the methods this client offers to us. Which methods, uh, which methods this um, client offers? The typical HTTP methods. Methods to get, to post, to delete, to put, uh, information in a, um, a in a backend service. So let's uh, start with the basic method that is the get. In order to get information from an external service, we have to use the corresponding method HTTP client dot get method. And uh, using these methods, uh, this method it returns an observable we can subscribe to in order to get the retrieved information. So for instance, here in our my HTTP service we have implemented, we inject the HTTP client and we can use, as you can see here, the get method in order to get a specific resource from this URL, from this um, example service. In the component we, uh, we need to actually get this data, we just inject the service we have created to encapsulate this functionality and then we subscribe to uh, the uh, method we have created because remember this method returns an observable. Okay, so when we call to get data from service method, what we actually uh, get is an observable and we uh, have to subscribe to it to get the uh, corresponding data we have retrieved. Another important thing is that uh, the object that uh, this get method returns to us when we subscribe to it is an object uh, is of the of object uh, type. Okay, so we have to cast this object to the specific um, to the specific kind of data we expect to receive. And this is usually done using an interface. So for instance, if in this case, in this example, we expect to receive an object of type, of type my data. So we have to put here the uh, type of data we expect to receive. And then, of course, we can manage the receive data as we need in the application. If we need to check not only the body of the response, but other parts of the response, like for instance, headers, 
we uh, need to include this parameter of the get method of serve uh, response and um, uh, thanks to this uh, new parameter the response we receive uh, will be different okay in this case we will get an object of type http response and here we can uh, access to the body of the response or for instance to the headers of the response of course, you can check the full documentation of this HTTP response uh, data type in the Angular documentation. Take into account, account that in this case, the response is uh, of a new type, uh, HTTP response, so you have to uh, implement uh, this accordingly in the new method. Okay? This is very uh, frequent uh, also that uh, we need to handle errors because um, remember we are accessing to an external service and this service could be available or not the resource to which we are trying to which we are trying to access to could exist or not exist so we cannot just send the request and expect that everything will success we will also need to or we we have also need to handle the possible errors that could happen during the request. You can see here for doing this we have to get uh, this new parameter of the response that is called error and that is of type HTTP error response. You can also check uh, all the documentation about this, um, this data type but for instance we can uh, access the uh, error code or the uh, text of the error response of the um, of the um, error um, that happens uh, during the request. Okay. Of course, this is the get uh, get um, verb of HTTP, but thanks to the uh, HTTP client uh, of Angular, we can also handle put, post, and delete actions. Okay. Uh, you can see here an example of post and an example of uh, delete. And as you can see here, we need a third parameter in this case. We need the URL, we need a second parameter that is the data we want to post, and then a third parameter that are uh, a set of options that we have to define um, before sending the request. So in this case, for instance, we need the headers because we have to specify the type of the content and for instance, in this case, an authorization header. But this is just an example, okay? As always, you can check uh, the documentation, the full documentation in, in Angular, okay? When sending a delete, we have also to include the uh, options and in this case, for instance, we are deleting the, uh, the uh, unspecific resource from the, uh, from the uh, backend service. Um, it is very important to take into account that we are always getting, not just with the get method, but also with delete or with post, we are always getting an observable. So in order to actually execute the request, we have to subscribe to the uh, observable. Okay? If we just call the delete data from service method we have defined here, nothing will happen. Okay? So until we, um, we um, call the subscribe method, even if we don't expect a result, uh, the uh, HTTP request will not be executed. Okay? So that's all for this um, introduction of the uh, um, HTTP client feature of uh, Angular and see you in the next video. Bye!